Hey dolls, today's video is all about curl formers. I'm gonna show you the difference between the spiral size curl formers and the barrel size ones. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install them so you can create some perfect heat-free curls. So I always like to make sure I start off my curl former sets with clean hair. So first we're going to go ahead and get into the spiral size curl formers. This is the extra long spiral curl former styling kit which comes with 40 curl formers and two styling hooks. Inside you'll find two different colors, orange and pink, and you can see that they curl in the opposite direction. So personally I like to have my curls going away from my face, so I'm going to go ahead and use the orange ones on my right side and the pink ones on my left side. To be able to install the curl formers, you need to click the styling hook together, then slide a curl former onto the styling hook. To get a clean, perfect set, you want to grab a medium section of hair and dampen it with some water. So be sure the section isn't too big or you'll have issues pulling the hair through the curl former. Next, you apply a little bit of your leave-in conditioner to moisturize your hair. Then you can apply the styling product of your choice, whether that be gel, a styling cream, etc. In my case, I'll be using two pumps of mousse. It's a lightweight product that doesn't weigh my hair down or leaves it feeling crunchy and hard. So after you apply Apply your product, be sure to brush and smooth out your hair. To install the curl former, you can twist your hair at the root so it'll be easier to fit your hair within the hook. With the styling hook pointed upward towards the ceiling, place your hair within the hook and move the hook up towards your roots. Slide the curl former upwards on the styling hook and hold it tightly on your roots, then pull the styling hook downwards to pull your hair through the curl former. So the curl former will typically take a funny shape, so all you have to do is stretch it out while holding it at your roots so that it does not slide off. Then you release it so it can take its original original shape. So afterwards, just repeat the process and remember, be sure not to part your hair into big sections or you won't be able to slide it through the curl former. You'll know it's too much hair because you'll have an issue sliding the styling hook down or it just won't budge at all. So if you do manage to force a big section of hair through there, the curl just won't set properly in some areas. For this style, I used a total of 35 curl formers, so one styling kit is sufficient if you have a lot of hair like me. I air dried my hair for about 7-8 to eight hours until my hair was fully dry, but you could always sit under a hooded dryer to speed up the process, although I will say these are much more comfortable to sleep in than flexi rods or perm rods since they're made out of this mesh like plastic material. So to take out the curl formers, just stretch it out and slide it off your hair. Then you can just twirl the curl in the direction it's curling if you need to have it regain the shape of the curl former. So you can see I was left with beautiful bouncy spiral curls afterwards you can just lightly oil your hands and begin separating each curl until you've reached your desired look So these are my final results after using the extra long spiral curl former styling kit. So they do have different lengths on their website. So if you have short hair, medium hair, long hair, it all depends on the length of your hair. And they also have different curl sizes. So next I'll be showing you how these differ from the barrel size curl formers. So in comparison to the extra long barrel size curl formers, you can see that the barrel size ones have a much wider opening so you will be able to work with bigger sections of hair and you can see that the curl is much wider which does lead to a shorter looking curl even though both the materials stretch out to the same length of 24 inches. As I mentioned earlier, I always like to start off with clean hair. Then you begin by sliding it onto the styling hook and section and prep your hair to install the curl former. So for this style, I use the exact same products I did with the other set because these products just tend to leave any roller set I do with perfect moisturized frizz-free results. I just love using mousse because it's just such a lightweight product and it really does moisturize my hair. It doesn't flake, weigh it down, or leave my hair feeling hard or crunchy. And it does give me good hold, but if you find that you need a little bit more hold, then I would suggest just using a little bit of gel or maybe a thicker styling cream. So again, just twist your hair at the root and insert the hair into the styling hook with the hook position up towards the ceiling. Keep in mind that the barrel size curl formers have a wider opening so you are able to work with bigger sections of hair, which is why this particular set comes with 10 less curl formers in the kit than the spiral size styling kit. 
Repeat the process and let your hair completely dry before taking them out and separate and style your hair as desired. I used a total of 20 barrel size curl formers for this look. You can see how much looser the curls are as if I use a curling iron to create this look. So these did a great job in stretching on my curl pattern that after I brushed them out it really did just look like I used a flat iron on my hair. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and are able to get the hang of installing curl formers now. Comment below and let me know if you prefer the barrel size ones or the spiral size ones. Let me know if you've ever tried doing a curl former set or if you plan on doing one after watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up so more people can find it. And of course, be sure you're subscribed to my channel so you can see more hair videos. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and naturally Chia and tag me in your results if this video did help you out. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see. And like always, thanks for watching.